Hey guys, welcome back. After Bangkok, we charted a day course for the Maeklong Railway Market. Getting there was an adventure. We had to change trains and cross the river by ferry to arrive at the unusual market. But before that, there was breakfast. So it's breakfast time. Here we have eggs, fish, masaman curry, and here we have some kind of a soup. Interesting. Good as you see. Pickle, sweet sausage, Chinese sausage. Et le riz, c'est quoi? Ah, les petits, les petits poissons gris. Ça a l'air bon, ça. Manon. I took tons of stuff, I already ate it all. You took all of it? Yep. This is classic. Croissant, des oeufs, du bacon. Voilà. Second breakfast. This is my second serving. Two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Et aujourd'hui, nous allons revoir un train. Today, we're going to see a very particular train on the Mekong Railway. The train goes through a very busy Thai open market at a very low speed and all the merchants have to fold back and forth their earnings every time the train goes through. It's a very unique market located about 40 kilometers north of Bangkok. So here we go. So the first thing is to find the Wong Wien Yai train station. It's a little tricky to find. This is not a big station and easy to miss from the main street. It's tucked into a small alleyway. The ticket booth is to the right as you step onto the platform. Don't do like us and go left. There are food carts all over the platform. We now wish that we had bought some for the train ride. Market is like is a market with a railway in the middle where this train, the Mekong train, passes right through the middle of the market, and they have to like put away their their um, their tents so that yeah. the train can pass through. And it's like all very fast, and it's like just like boom, you know. <laughs> Should be interesting. Yes. Yep. Very interesting. This train is over 35 years old and still chugging along. It is worth experiencing and very local. After arriving at the Maha Chai station, we have to get off and find the pier. We got a bit lost. We knew where we wanted to go, but had no idea how to get there. So what we ended up doing was we followed the river away from the station. It somehow worked out because when we got back onto the street, we saw the dock that we needed to be at. We have to cross the, the river. Finally, at the pier, we took a ferry. After crossing the river, we saw a sign for the Ban Lam station. There are rickshaws waiting to take you there, and it probably would have been a good idea to take them. It's not that far, but we dawdled a bit and bought drinks and talked to vendors. Good thing locals told us to go quickly, as the train was gonna leave. After running the rest of the way, one of the workers held the train so we could get on. Here we are, the Meklong Rail Market. It took us about two and a half hours to get here. 
It costed 100 baht, so approximately $4. Here, the train is going at a very slow speed, and we can see all the stalls folded up. We are arriving to the terminus of the train and we get off and walk through the tracks. Really? Did the train just got through here? It's impossible. It's surprising that the items for sale are laid right up to the track. The bulk of the items for sale are food. Vegetables, seafood, Thai sweets, and fruits. There aren't many souvenirs for sale. The train passes so close you can reach out and touch it, but of course no one should do it. As soon as the train passes, vendors immediately reset their awnings and move back their basket and stores. Now that we rode on the train and watched it leave the market again, we're ready to sample all the tasty and sticky snacks. Sticky rice is our favorite. It's just sticky rice. <laughs> And you guys want to try? Mm. Real coconut. Mama and Papa are hooked on coconut juice. It's refreshing when it's hot. As for us, we enjoy delicious lemon smoothies. Allez, prends ça. Bah, on va goûter, oui. C'est le même que ma mère fait. C'est pour nous. Ça a l'air très bon. Since this area is known for its seafood, we stopped and had big fresh water ponds for lunch. We also had Toadman and Red Snapper. It was amazing. We wanted to try popsicles from this vintage popsicle maker. It uses rock salts and a turning action to freeze soda. It was really cool. We took a side journey to Ampawa Floating Market. There are boat rides here in the Klong. Then started to find our way back to Bangkok. There are buses and vans to take you back to Bangkok for around 70 baht per person. Be sure to know where the drop-offs are at or you might just get lost. You can take private tours from Bangkok, but honestly, it was more interesting to make our own way here. Leave a comment if you would like to know more details. This was a unique outing and a great day trip for the hustle of Bangkok. Be sure to check back for our next episode. We're leaving Bangkok and you won't believe what we're going to swim with. Hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.